everyone, welcome back. I'm Andrea and this is my friend Marissa and this is part three to our series together and we're talking about pregnancy and the recover from pregnancy. Okay, so I learned some things from my birth, my birth coach and she's like a doula and I learned a lot through the program called Birth Fit and what I was learning was about these two minute drills. And these two minute drills were like totally new to me, like I'd never heard of them. Like as an athlete, sometimes when you're gonna lift a heavy weight or approach something that seems really intimidating, you need to focus first. You need to like relax and be calm. And that two minutes, although it wasn't like a timed two minute drill, it was like probably around that time to where like you need to like settle yourself and find some peace and kind of center, center your focus. But this was more like when you're going through a contraction, like having that two minute time span was actually important. And so it taught me how to just like take really big breaths during that two, that two minutes. And just kind of think about the baby and think about the baby's health. Think about like all of this being like worth it, like the buildup of like the pregnancy and then the birth part. And, and just kind of think about, okay, you're kind of praying, you're praying to God, you're inviting God into this situation and you're thinking about the peace and the health of the baby. And for me, when I do those two minute drills afterwards, I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel great. I feel like a million bucks. I should do that every day. And so I'm excited how that'll like prepare me for actually giving birth and actually being in those moments of like, being just like hold Pete's hand and like squeeze and like going through those contractions, but also like, um, you know, how has that helped you as like a mom and like being a Christian mom and what that's like? Yeah, that's actually huge in labor, especially. Uh, focusing on your breathing, focusing on the fact that every single contraction is getting you to your goal of delivering the baby. So that's an amazing thing to think about. The two minute thing is key. For me it was because I had contractions for a minute and a half and then I would have 30 seconds of rest. And that's not everybody's experience, but that was mine. So that two minutes was a real, a real thing in my life. Um, but when you're breathing, and you're sitting and you're focusing on the Lord and you're focusing on how grateful you are for your baby's life and that you physically can go through this um, with, with the help of the Lord and the help of your husband who the Lord crafted for you, um, wow. you, can, you can start to see why you're going through this. It kind of gives you a reason in that most intense moment that you're like, get me the epidural. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. that it actually gives you the Lord to focus on instead wow. of how much pain you're in. Right, instead of the pain. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> oh my gosh. So today we're going to be doing some exercises. So we're actually going to be moving. Marissa's going to show us um, some things where she's laying down on her back and then she's going to guide me through some stuff as well. So go ahead and like, let's just, um, let's start with the pelvic floor tilt. Yeah. And uh, I'll just kind of watch while you go through and you can talk to the camera or, or uh, just show us what they look like. Okay, great. So, with my physical therapist, I'm gonna put my bun up in the, in the sky. With my physical therapist, I learned that I had to keep the lumbar part of my back tight, tight, tight to the ground. So she told me to envision the ground as a magnet, a strong magnet, that my lumbar was magnetized and stuck to the ground. Then she would try and squeeze her hand between my back and the ground and if she could get it through, she told me to press harder into the ground. So the next part, this is with a pelvic tilt, your lumbar is squeezed into the ground and your hips and, and your abdomen are tight as well. So you can feel actually um, how tight it is if you, if you give it a little press. Then you push your lower back into the ground. Push your lower back sure into touching. the ground. That's right. Glued, glued tight to the ground. So, Andrea, if you can get your hand in there, then it's not tight enough. Okay. Yep, I can. Okay. <laughs> then you slowly, as slowly as you can, start to tilt your hips up. This is a pelvic tilt, and then you release. Okay. So I just released my back. You can get, you can get your hand between your back and the floor again. Then get, get another pelvic tilt in there. So you press, press, press into the ground and tilt up. This is a pelvic tilt. That's all it is. It's pretty intense for that second that you're really pressed into the ground and then you're released and you can breathe again. As soon as you have a solid pelvic tilt down and you know what that feeling is to glue your lower back to the ground, you can start to do a bridge. So this is a second exercise and this is called a bridge. 
it's a expansion on the pelvic tilt and you glue your lower back into the ground here's the theme you're always going to glue your lower back to the ground as tight as you can and then you start to one vertebrae at a time roll up keeping your tummy nice and tucked in roll 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 as slowly as you can until you're in a bridge then you're going to keep it squeezed nice and tight this couldn't be tighter for me right now and my lower back is still very supported. So you're gonna lower as, as slowly as you can, one vertebrae at a time, back into the ground. Everything is still as tight as you can make it. Lower, 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 pressing, pressing into the ground. And now you're in your pelvic tilt, then release. So those are two exercises that you can do, the pelvic tilt and the bridge, that will really help strengthen your lower back, your inner abdominal muscles, and your pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor basically runs from your pubic bone up to your diaphragm. Wow, so it seems like those are kind of building exercises. Like the first one, you gotta get the pelvic tilt down, and then once you're ready for that, then you can go in the blueprint. Definitely. Cool, and then what's our third one? Um, the third exercise, is going to be heel slides. So you bring your, you keep, basically you're gonna keep your knees up, pointing at the sky, and then slowly, with your lower back glued to the floor, because I'll always say that, with your lower back glued to the floor, you're gonna slide your heel out, keep your lower back on the ground. If it's coming up at all, you've gone too far and you're not ready to extend your leg that far. Bring your heel back in and lower the other one out. Keep your back glued to the floor. And that's the whole exercise. When should people uh, attempt these exercises? Like during pregnancy and after? Uh, during pregnancy, it depends on where you are in your pregnancy stage. Okay. Uh, and how long you can lay on your back okay. um, and still be able to breathe. I know that with my twin pregnancy, I couldn't lay on my back very <laughs> far. Uh, and so, that, that's all dependent upon what your pregnancy is like. Okay. But postpartum, I would not recommend doing exercises, really, until your fourth trimester is over. Uh, something that my doctor did recommend is um, Kegels, because they actually test you on it at your six week postpartum check, just so you know. Um, okay. So, Please. yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you might not want to at first, um, but, it's, it's something that you're going to realize, oh, I haven't engaged that in weeks and weeks. So okay. um, regaining strength starting from there, that's your foundation. Uh, the foundation of your pelvic floor is right there. So um, that's something you can definitely do regularly if you're needing a workout and <laughs> do giggles. Cool. And the last thing is, I love that Marissa has told us so much and she's educated us on all this. However, what she told me beforehand was, this is not my profession. This is not something that I'm like a, an expert on. I've just experienced it. And honestly, that's enough. If you've experienced it and you've recovered from pregnancies, like that's what it's all about is just going, hey, this is what I've learned and I want to show you guys what I've learned and this has really helped me. I think our testimony is just so important. So thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> this was so fun.